I'm Paul Hand and a very warm welcome to Changzhou in southern Jiangsu province, China, located on the southern bank of the Yangtze River, which for the last 12 years plays host to the Bonnie China Masters Grand Prix Gold Badminton event. And today, as we're at the business end of the tournament, indeed it's semi-finals day and the athletes eye the ever nearing medal podiums that await the winners on Sunday. Grand Prix Gold is classified just one category below Super Series. In 2016, already six have been completed and eight remain. And generally, titles have been shared amongst several athletes. Our lineup for today includes five former or current world number ones. First up, Lee Jure, the former world number one, currently ranked third. She's up against Porn Tip, who really is in form. Then a mixed doubles, Su Chen and Ma Jin up against the might of two Malaysians, Chan Pung Sun and Go Li Luing. Then we've got Lin Guipo against Lin Dan, arguably the greatest player of his generation, followed by a men's double semi-final as well. And then the undisputed world number one, Chen Long. He's up against Tanon Sak of Thailand, who has... Chen Long has a nine-love stranglehold over the head-to-head -head there. So the might of uh, China formidable as always indeed all five disciplines boast elite international badminton athletes this is what's first up louis jure against pontip burana prasatsuk of thailand world ranked 18th at the moment that's where we are in the draw the very top half is the match that we'll be following bottom half well all chinese affair as you can see the 18-year-old Chen Yufei up against Sun Yu, the fifth seed Sun Yu. Runner-up in the Singapore Opium Open this year. Sparse crowd in at the moment. Very generous crowd late last night. Finished about 10 o'clock local time. We've had a little bit of stormy weather outside just over the last couple of hours, so people making their way through. But uh, last year, China took the clean sweep of all the titles from all five disciplines for the sixth time in the event's inception 11 years ago. We'll be turning our attention to this women's singles match due up. So our players are shortly on their way. And they are led out by Li Jure. There's Porn Tip. She's currently ranked eighth, uh, 18th in the world, I should say. Has been as high as eighth in the world back in June 2014. She's herself uh, yet to drop a game in this tournament so far. Very solid showing from Porn Tip. Posting some good 2016 results as well. That's good, please. Which do you want? Blue and red? Which choice? Uh, receive. Receive. Sorry. So you heard it. The jury to get us underway. She's going to serve in pink and blue from Chongqing in Sichuan Province. Former world number one from December 2012 to 2014. Both 25-year-olds, these two. Up against Porn Tip today. Twice uh, runner-up in world champs is Li Jure. Well over 20 career titles to her name. And, of course, the current Olympic champion from London 2012. There's Porn Tip, age 24. Born in Bangkok, Thailand. Been as high as eighth in the world, as you can see there on the bottom right of the graphic. Fondest memory, winning the Indian Super Series in 2011. This year, had some good results. Semi-final of the Syed Modi. Four quarter-final showings as well. In the Thai Masters and Swiss Open, Malaysian Open, Singapore Open last week. A couple of rounds of 16 as well. Solid year so far there for Pontic, turning our attention to the top seed in this event. The Jure. Vitals on the screen for you there. Twenty sixteen, you can see 
Victor Lee Jure leads the head-to-head -head showing. Seven, Love. Very dictatorial in that regard. A real stranglehold. Indeed, they met at the Indian Open at the end of March not long ago, and uh, she just wriggled past Point at 23-21 in the deciding game. So a very strong showing from Pontip, who seems to be playing very, very good badminton at the moment. As I say, yet to concede a game. So it's going to be Lee Jure to get us underway then. Our umpire, Jujie. And service judge, Jujie. Presiding over this one. The Jure had a tough match against Ayumi Mine of Japan in the round of 16. 21-8 in the deciding game, that one. The only time she's conceded a game all tournament, though, so far. Good smash kill. Quick to close down the net there to the delight of a coach. Apologetic gesture, but she'd do it again if she could, I'm sure. Oh. Yesterday, she beat the lefty and defending champion, her Bin Zhao, the sixth seed. It was a fairly emphatic performance 21 11, 21 6, did Lee. After just 30 minutes, it was a masterclass, frankly. I watched most of that match, and she really was playing wonderfully well, looking very, very sharp and focused. So, four points adrift then, opting for a change in equipment, pawn tip. Very deceptive. He's carving around the right hand side of the shuttle nicely there. Back to back points for Pawn Tip, then just uh, recognition that she is on form and after a rather slow start, really has started to find her feet here. She wants to put her best foot forward, you'd imagine, in a contest of this stature. Semi-finals here. And yeah, the semi-final showing this year was in the Syed Modi.
number eight. Well, she won the German Open, China Open, Denmark Open. OK, that was back as far as October 2015, but three tournament wins. Three times runner-up, the Asian champs, and Chinese Taipei, and the Indian Open as well. Five quarterfinals and three round of 16 appearances. So emphatic form for her over the last 12, 18 months or so from the Jure. So Horn Tip still four points adrift. A change of shuttle in order. And uh, looking a lot towards her coach. She really does have her work cut out today, as we saw on that head-to-head uh, -head showing. I'm not entirely convinced that was right. I've got a head-to-head -head showing of 7-3 myself. Horn Tip won three times against Lee Jure in 2013, but nothing since November. 2013. So it's been a long time. She's lost the last five oh. consecutive showings against Lee. Oh. The accuracy imposing, the precision, the still eyed focus in her gaze. Lee Jure really is a sparkling start from her. Drop. Just comes a little short. Pawn tip no. rewarded for her persistence. Turned that point around really, really well. But it looks like Lee, who's in the ascendancy as we head towards the mid game interval, just two points away possibly for Lee Jure. As we head to the mid-game interval, is six points ahead. 11 points to five with a stranglehold over this opening game. It has to be said already. Usual format, of course. Race to two games, or best of three. First to 21 points by a margin of two clear, or first to 30. Four one twenty seconds. Four one twenty seconds. So strong start then for the top seed, who has already dispatched of the last year's defending champion, Eleven, uh, Bing Zhao, yesterday. She's in menacing mood. Engineered point from Pawntit then using all four corners of the court very, very well. Some beautiful tight net shots, and wonderful lifts, and managing to rush Lee into error there. Oh, brilliant block off the backhand from Lee Jure. Fabulously reflexive, deadly accurate. Little hesitancy for the line judge there, but uh, just gesturing that it was indeed out. So. 
Lee Jure just moving in with poise towards the opening game. Let's see it again, slightly obscured by the post. There we were. Service over. 7 13. The referees just catching a glimpse of them, having a nice time, enjoying the quality fare on offer. Just spilling long over the back line, a rare unforced error then from Lee Jure. unable to put any more than a couple of runs of two points consecutively consecutively together for Porn Tip really up against it here. Lee in commanding form so far as indeed she was yesterday. Against here Bing Zhao. Sixth seed now still in no time at all. Just half an hour it took her to beat the defending champion. That really is nothing. But look at the precision. That's wonderful. Great cross net shot from Pawn Tip there to the delight of her camp. Thunderous smash down the line, just opening up the court nicely and just too much ground to recover for Lee. of um, terrific Thai players. Rachanok Intanon, of course, back to world number one after winning three consecutive Super Series in a row in three weeks. Remarkable, a historic first ever by a player. Come back against Sun Yu, the defending champion in the Singapore Open. Miraculous. So the Thai back to world number one. When asked uh, what it's all about, well, she's just declaring that she's training so tough as Rachinok. She's uh, crying a lot at the end of practice by her own admission. So uh, that's the price you pay to get to the pinnacle in world sport, I guess. But uh, great to see the young Thai back to world number one, doing really, really well. Ousting Carolina Marin and, of course, Lee down to world ranking of third currently. Oh, Razor sharp from the off then. Creates a lot of daylight between herself and Pawn Tip now. And the opening game just stands four points away. Pawn Tip requesting to take her time. Under a lot of pressure there, couple of tight net shots from Pawn Tip. Got her moving a lot, but look how many ways she has to pick a lot. Just getting out of jail there with some wonderful backhand down the line deception. And the cross net finish. about the top seed right now, who has looked just imperious all week. Little blip against Ayumi Mine of Japan, losing the opening game, 21-23, and then uh, coming back. Look at that reverse slice. Ten point, ten. Wonderful. So, 10 points between them, 10 game points indeed. Jure. Service over. Eleven party. So 
So you sense an almost delaying the inevitable. The omnipresence of the Chinese in this tournament, quite something, quite extraordinary. So well supported this event. Fast, hard net shots, just what she needs. Almost as if Porn Tips warming up her game in anticipation of the second game upcoming. Surely too much to retrieve here, you'd imagine. Still eight points adrift. But never say never. So a run of three then. The first run of three that Pontitz managed to put together really well contested of late. That bodes well for the second game, you'd imagine, irrespective of what happens here at the uh, tail end of this game. Wonderful. So quick to pounce after that tight net shot. You could see that Lee was really struggling here. Supreme accuracy from the underdog. It's almost like she really is freeing off now. The finish line of that opening game is so close. Tightly contested towards the end there. Nice run of, what was it, three or four points for Vaughn Tip. So, late to a very dominant badminton. Lee at the moment. And keeping with the seeding. Everything motoring along nicely to the referee tournament director's delight, you'd imagine. A real draw for the tournament, having a player of this stature. So agile in defence as she is in attack, and so precise with most of her shots, and calm-minded as well under pressure. Pontip really raising the bar at the back end of that opening game, but she's got a lot of work to do now, you'd imagine. So 21-14, that opening game. see the second semi-final, but that'll be on court two. We won't get to glimpse uh, at that one today on show court one here. Chen Yufei against Sun Yu, the fifth seed in that all-Chinese encounter. You're in the company of Paul Han. Great to have you along. We're watching the Bonnie China Masters. Game two here. We Jure snatching the opening game. 21 points to 14. Changzhou, a wonderful city to be in, very well populated, indeed 36 million inhabitants, known as Dragon Town, with a rich two and a half thousand year history. And this, the highest level of Grand Prix tournament, the Grand Prix Gold, 150,000 US dollars up for grabs throughout the tournament. There's two courts in action today. There was four yesterday. 
started very late at uh, 5 p.m. local time yesterday, finishing about 10 p.m. today, considerably earlier. 1 p.m. local time. Well, there seems to be more urgency in attacking play about Porn Tip now. She's really seems to want to be taking the initiative focusing more on her net play you'd imagine trying to take time and space away from Lee who when she has both of those is just imperious frankly so it's contained aggression looking at the gestures from the coach that's what it's all about don't over press well closed there wonderful tight net shot Backing it up well. And encouraging them for Porn Tip this. Strong start in game two. trailing the opening game from the Thais perspective and all her fans as well to come out and just really work hard at the start of this second game. In their last showing, as I mentioned earlier at the top of the programme, the uh, Yonex Sunrise India Open in the very tail end of March there. She took the opening game against uh, Lee did point it, losing out 21-23 in the decider. Wonderful hands from the Thai player. Extremely tight net shot there. A real tumbler. Look at this. Oh, perfection. Incidentally, all the other head-to-head -head showings, the four prior to that Indian Open match in March, was uh, just straight games to Lee. Uh, she engineered the point so well, that'll go down as an unforced error. that there's nothing this lady hasn't seen before. Current reigning Olympic champion. So dialed in from the off. Porn tip though, evidently so quick to close the net down, so fast onto anything short. In contrast to the opening game where you felt she was playing herself in more, but she's got to take those kind of risks, just spilling long over the back line there. So, nothing between them in the second game now. Beautiful. It was a lovely lift and impeccably weighted over to the backhand side of Horn Tip, who was right up caught in the forehand corner there. Two in a row then for the world number three. Yeah, left far too short and got what it deserved. Be 
people spilling in to this Olympic Sports Center. Sincheng, thick and fast to catch glimpses of these international stars. defense into attack from Lee Jure. Fabulous point. Just uh, pushing her opponent all over the court, as indeed she was from the outset. Wanted doing very well in defense, but unable just control to control that last one, spilling wide into the doubles court. Brilliant passage of play from Horn Tip. It's just so much more accuracy and precision on what she's now doing. The second game, which Tighter contested than the opener. Good leave. with the umpire then. Not entirely sure what it was about. Couldn't hear it, but... So, Lee Jure just weathering the storm because Pawn Tip really is and had to bring her best right now. Yeah, couldn't do anything with that tumbling net shot, though. It was just beautifully struck by Lee Jure. Just dropping like a stone here. Look at that. Oh, quick to bounce. It's the straight net shot prior that did the damage. Asking a lot of the ties, athleticism. To that deep lift, wonderful combination from the top seed here. Look at this precision. Doesn't miss a trip. Three in a row then for Li Jure. Spells danger. She's 11 8 up here at the mid game into So there's a vital passage of play for Born Tip if, if she's to uh, contest this further, the semi-final. Ah, a wonderfully engineered point. Lee with a scowl and a frown on her face there. Unhappy. It was that short lift. Disappointed. So the Thai coach will be looking for attitude and application about now from Pawn Tip. Some wonderful 
blocks and drives. Two points in a row then. For Pontip here. Working extremely hard to get to the shuttle, just that little bit higher. Attempting to rush the top seed. standing in the game and track record you would imagine a score like this coming into this semi-final frankly <laughs> yeah it's not quite uh, clearing the net with the reverse smash reverse slice i should say Pick your pardon. But she definitely has up to her uh, pace and of shot and movement. But she's still three points adrift in the second game. <laughs> well, fortune favours the brave. And I guess when you're playing someone like Lee Jouere, it's about making chunkable, achievable goals of sort of mini score targets along the way at the moment desperate just to draw level want it and again a run of two consecutive points Yeah, terrific body smash right into the uh, right hip of her opponent. There's a real precision and excellence about everything that Lee does. And this match very much in keeping with their previous head to head encounters. And uh, some would say, well, a massive level of expectation in terms of that head-to-head -head dominance for Lee. But she manages that extremely well and just plays one point at a time. It's the old adage, isn't it? Sterling defence from the tie here. Very, very solid, and that really smacked of fatigue, frankly. After a long, lung busting point, both opting to uh, head to the towel. So only one point between them then in the second game. Much tighter contested than the first. <laughs> Almost gesturing to keep the momentum, Chinese coach. Oh, Color blue on the next court. Kim and Kim, the Korean third seeds, doing battle against Takashi and Kimura and Kiego. Sonoda of Japan. And that lens doubles. Oh, shame. Built the 
point so well. But Lee just so adept at understanding the strategy and momentum, keeping massive amount of pressure on Pawn Tip now, who contested that point extremely well, but came out with nothing to show at the end of it. And that's what the top seed does. Chance the Chinese coach and player I'm going to ride this momentum bubble. Don't want that bubble burst. Three in a row then for Li, who stands just four points away from the final. And she really has had all the answers. The top seed. She had the air of someone who feels very at home on the big stage. But the modest crowd is growing here. Oh, wonderful cross net shot hit with such conviction and precision. Pontip unable to blow a hole in the defences of the top seed, looking upward for divine inspiration. She needs something magical now. Terrific reverse. Slice. To finish the point. Look at this. Let's see it again. Yeah, wonderful. Took the uh, speed right out of the shot, coming on the inside of it. Majestic from Morton. Well, whatever you can do, I can't do better. Was the outcome of that one. So tough for this player to get cheap points. The jury just so frugal in that regard. Oh, the reverse slice missing on that occasion. And that brings up five match points for the top seed. Well, she fought back uh, valiantly at the back end of the opening game. Can she do so here? These must win points for the tie. <laughs> well, a little bit of lady luck won't go amiss either. Saves two match points then. Still work to do. But encouragingly, it's on our own serve. Survive. She's living dangerously, but she's still two match points to lead. Look at that. Saving her best till last, a run of three.
points for Pontip. Can she make it four? delays the inevitable, detaining the top seed for just that little bit longer, you feel. Now, yeah, we'll be treated to the luxury of the third game. Somehow I still doubt it, but she's uh, just one point adrift now. Played really well to save four match points. Now, will Lee ratchet up into the next gear to put this match to bed? First play to 30, of course. Right. Remarkable. Right. Top seed. Struggling for air right now. Lung busting, grueling points from the tie player. Oh. What a wonderful hard work drive. Straight at Wanted. Rushing her into error. Complete change tactically on the offence from the word go there. Much more proactive, driving the point as the top seed should. So, sixth match point opportunity then for the jury, who rightly takes her time. Semi-finals, 21-14, 22-20. So a strong showing from the top seed, even though she was detained. And it took was it seven match points to come good for Lee Jure. It's a very inspired badminton at the back end of that game. So there we are then, just confirmation of the score after 41 minutes played. 21-14, 22-20. So it's Lee Jure, the third ranked player in the women's rankings at the moment, the top seed here finds her way through and inks her name into the final berth. First player through and she will await the winner of Chan Yufei and Sun Yu in the second semi-final. Be able to put her feet up now, have a little bit of a rest and uh, examine that all Chinese encounter. So, See, there's action there on court two. We'll be bringing you mixed doubles up next. We'll be watching Su Chen and Ma Jin up against Chan Hong Sun and Go Lui Liu Yang of Malaysia, the six seeds against the top seeds. That'll be with us shortly. Don't go anywhere. We'll be bringing you action of that one just now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, here the rat, here the black. 
She changed your calf. Red. Much red to Patty. Much in third. Martin, who will receive? Which side? On my right. Thank you. So, barely able to catch your breath then, turning our attention on to...